Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. UTEP's just been unable to put together four quarters. You take little snippets out of each and every game during this losing streak, and it looks like a pretty good football team. But mistakes at crucial times have doomed them. Can they finally clean up their act and get this thing going in the right direction? Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football Pregame Show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. section of the Rocky Mountains. We're at the Sun Bowl in El Paso, Texas. And now let's get down to the coin toss. Brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. Houston tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. the stop at the 21-yard line. It was the umpire that threw the flag, and generally, holding that's a holding penalty. Offense. That penalty will move them back Still a bit. Yeah, game. with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. So it's first down and an eternity. McCollum takes it up the middle. Tackle at the 15. Call it a gain of one yard. That'll make it second and long. Larry, Larry, Larry. 47 Mike, 47 Mike. Mike, 47. Watch two feet drop. He scrambled. And down he goes at about the 19 yard line. Third down and 14 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. He's going left. Tipped away. Well, that's a big-time play by the defense here to knock that football away to set up a pivotal fourth down. That'll make it fourth and 14. Coley is the punter. He's at the 40. He makes it to the 38-yard line. The Cougars have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you get a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Bowling's the kind of guy that's work ethic really pays off. Right now, he's playing some special football and leading the conference statistically. He's tackled in the open field. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. by the sophomore. He's tackled at the 11. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Touchdown, Houston! 
finished him. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Pistol Pete as the guns are blazing as Oklahoma State takes the field in still one. The Wildcats relentless with their rushing attack, and they score a touchdown. We've got a 7-7 game. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Cooper looks ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. Tackle at the 20-yard line. Houston's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Great run, and he's brought down in the backfield. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. He'll get the call again. Runs it left for a decent game. the 33 yard line he showed you right there why a defense can never lose tabs on him take your eye off him in coverage and he'll create a big play from their own 33 yard line first down catches it and he's looking for more scott gains about four yards there Second down, five to go. Ball on the 37. Now he's scrambling, and they got him. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Great stop there, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Before you start to blame the offensive line, really give this defense some credit. They just did a great job. Lee, the return man. <laughs> Lee fields it at the 30. Whoa, he just took a lick it. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. This offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. Brought down at the 41-yard line. That brings him second and five. Houston is up by a touchdown. Fires that quickly incomplete. From their own 41 yard line, third down. Scrambling around, room around the corner. 
He'll take it himself. Tackle made around the 38-yard line. And he has a huge game. Yeah, I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. Rose, and it's knocked away. Alert lead on that play. He didn't have too much time to react to that pass. That makes it second and ten. From the 38-yard line, second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he's taken down at the 35. Gain of three yards. That'll bring up third and six. So at the end of one, Houston in front, 7-0. back for more action here in quarter number two. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. Houston is up seven. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. On the ground with a the tailback. They'll knock him down for a loss. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 19. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Anderson was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and 11. Pass incomplete. Ground the intended receiver on the play. That brings us fourth and eleven. Coley is waiting for the snap. Brought down at the forty-five yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possession. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's taken down at the 34. Atkins was the tackle at the 34-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Houston up seven points. Here we go, D, get off the field, quickly and he's got his man and they make the stop at the 26. That's a game of play. That makes it second and two. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That's a deep one on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. Houston is hoping to make this a two score. Kicks away, and he got it. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. 
Time to check out what's going on in Stillwater. This is the game we've been watching closely today. And for Kansas State, all the ingredients look as if they are starting to fall into place for a potential upset. And for Timmons, he's now taken two kicks back for touchdowns on the day. The Cowboys are on top, 21-17, middle of the second quarter. And for the Cougars, well, if that score holds up, they should move into the BCS title chase with a win. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up third and two. First and ten. Ball on the 38. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. That's the last thing they needed to happen was an interception. They're trying to fight to get back into this game and to have that miscue, now it's really up to their defense to try to help them out. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 37. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And he is drilled at the 43. That screen gets around six. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. He's going to try and scramble. Dives, and he's down. Well, everyone was covered, so he took it himself for the first down. This guy is fearless. He'll put his head down and take a hit, too. He doesn't care. He's scrambling. And now he's going to improvise. to the tailback incomplete. Can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. That makes it second and So it's second and ten. Ball on the 38. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. That's a great tackle at the 30. Houston's going to have to use their second time out of the half. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. The 
kick is up. It's got the distance. And he just drilled it from long range. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Wildcats come into today's game ranked second in and We've been keeping an eye on this one all day. Check out these two teams keeping it close. The Wildcats have the lead 24-21. Well, it seems like every year we have one of those weekends where there's upset specials, and that one would be an upset. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done, and if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. That's a game four. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, second down. to the receiver, incomplete. Scott was the intended receiver on the play. Third down, six to go. Ball on the 29. 47 Mike, 47 Mike, Mike 47. Watch it out, watch it out. Go, four, three, 15, to go. And down he goes at the 29. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Cougars with a 13-point lead. second half from the eight yard line tackle at the 33 they'll take over here ready to start a new series he's on the run Good tackle there in space. He keeps it and maybe gets three yards. That makes it second and eight. He scrambled. And he's tackled at the 47. Makes the second goal. Gain of 17 yards. Check curls, First check curls, check curls. They'll get him for a loss. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 50. He's scrambling. Tackle at about the 49. That makes it so Screen pass. He's got his half back. They'll bring him down to the 38 yard line. Green. He'd like to change field position with his punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luck of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Back 
Bull after a decent pickup. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Was it left for a decent game? receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 47. Nice run there. McCollum picks up about four yards on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Around the 39-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 39. Dog four. Just throws this one away. tough guy and he's a great leader he's going to do whatever it takes to help his team and this play is number eight here's the halfback well the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run that brings up second and 13. From the 31 yard line. It's second down. He's at the 20. He makes his way to about the 18. Brad, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense. And look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. Tackle made at the 20. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. This is the 11th play of this drive. Brought down. On up the middle. And a six yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. From the 14 yard line, third down. Now he tries to buy some time, and they got him. Loss of six yards on today. That makes it fourth and 12. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. The Cougars with a 13-point lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. They come out in a five-wide set. Down around the 11 yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Second and 10. 
second and ten. Ball on their own 11. Slings it. And he tackles him hard at the 34. Catches it and he's punished. receiver again and they make the stop at the 40-yard line and a quick throw and he's level at the 50-yard line that makes it first and ten Caught with room to work. He's taken down at about the 15-yard line. Number 19 with the tackle at the 15-yard line. First down. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he hits him hard at the three yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and goal. Houston with a first and goal and a big opportunity here to really open this game up. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. He's going to try and scramble. And he's taken down at the two. That brings him second and goal. And he hits the PAT. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Wildcats were ranked number two. And after that performance, everyone knows why. And for Kansas State, they continue their winning ways. The Wildcats victorious by 14. 20 to nothing, our score in this one. Cooper looks ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the one. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Houston's defense has been a force to be reckoned with, especially in this game. You know, they have stepped up today. They just seem to be dialed in to what this offense is trying to do. Good job against the run. They've been very physical. What I love is how relentless they've run to the football. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Just under three to go in regulation. And they get the sack. They're really having a tough time slowing down this pass rush. That brings up second and 13. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Complete. 
completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That makes it 37. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. From their own 44-yard line, second down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Gets it. He's in space. He's pushed out of bounds around the 43-yard line. Just over a minute left. He flings it. Anderson was the intended receiver on the play. From the 43-yard line. Second down. Passes. Tight end's got another one. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Texas El Paso just took their first time out. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. From the 16-yard line, it's first down. Defense has had two stops already down here. Got it and brought down immediately. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. So an 11 play, 78 yard drive. And a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. He's tackling at the 40. Well, that should pretty much do it for him. Well, at least these guys showed great effort. My hat.